Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, welcome to the Dashcraft YouTube channel. Well, yes, uh, read the title correctly. I'm gonna give you some tips about how to be a very, very organized and very successful developer on Discord, which I have some, um, you know, some knowledge about the Discord bots and uh, I know how to, uh, like, engage and, like, have this, be a successful developer because I'm already in the process of being a verified developer. So I thought with myself, so why not sharing with, with other people and make them to try out being a verified developer on Discord. Well, this is not going to be permanent because technically Discord is going to close the um, verified developer applications on October this year, which means 2020. So which is, this is not a very long time for some people, but for me, it's a pretty enough time because I'm already getting verified. They just verify my identity. Which is I'm gonna do it's practice that I'm you can take a link in the description for my bot as well. But technically I'm gonna give you some tips for today's video to be a verified developer and how to be and there's some tips and tricks. So let's get into the video. Well, first thing first you guys need to know is technically be a very, very organized person. So technically, you know, I don't know if you're dressing up very messy or some stuff like that, but the thing is the thing that is very important for being an organized in coding. What I mean by that is technically, if you go to the VS Code, um, let's just take into an example. So in VS Code, I have my source bot code. So I have my commands, I have my pros file, you know, the, the host that I use for my bot. I will talk about this later on in the video. But technically, uh, as you guys can see, um, I have everything organized. I have the settings, the JSON, I have the prefixes, the JSON, package, like everything should be organized. Um, I have the utils, I have the modules, I have the, I have the mod models, and I have the events and So if you be organized in your code, everything will should work without an issue. But sometimes there's some people I see that they use their index.js for uh, putting the code. So let me just show you an example. I use my, uh, this was just coding series because I'm not going to show my code off my real bot proxy. So as you can see, I have my bot here. A lot of people are so missing in index.js. They literally use all of the commands in one file. I do not recommend doing this at all. Technically, what I'm recommending, you guys, is being an organized person. So what I mean by that is technically make sure you use a command handler, an event handler, and have a very, very separate things for each file. So let's just say you want to have a command. You just have to make a command and then create the command and put the code in it. It will be well organized and it will help you. Because I know, I, I know literally how you guys feel when you want to code. You get code frustrated, I know. But the thing is, imagine you being frustrated about the coding and then in the same time, you have some issues with your code and in the same time as well, your code is messy and you lose your code. So, what I mean by that is technically try to be not messy and to organize in your code. That's the one of the important things that you learned before being a verified developer on Discord. The second thing I'm going to teach you guys is not going to be a very big deal but uh, you have to listen to it. Um, being a professional developer needs to be the code clean so what I mean by that is technically if I right click on here if I click on format document it will format everything for me literally everything as you can see so what I mean by that is let's just say your code is like you know messy and you know you, you put everything messy you forgot some semicolons or let's just say you you like you know put these here whatever you want to call it. And you know, it's a little bit missing. It's not the right thing about a Node.js. If you want to make all the clean, you just have to right click in here and then click on format document. But it should be like, as you can see, it has changed everything for me. It makes everything clean. So what I mean by that is technically you have, I have using an extension called Beautify. You can use it as well. It's a pretty cool extension on VS Code, uh, which I use. I don't know about the um, Atom or other stuff, but technically I think it's a very cool software if you want to be a very, very clean developer. Third thing I'm gonna show you guys is a very, very interesting one. Um, to be fair, all of you guys don't know how to be a verified developer. Well, yeah, I know. You probably read on Discord uh, website and how you can um, be uh, pretty much um, how to be a developer. You know what I mean by that, like how to be in the process of being a developer. That's pretty much it. But if you don't know how you guys can do that, it's pretty simple. You just gotta follow the steps that I'm gonna show you guys. Well, technically, first of all, you have to be a Discord developer thing. You know, you have your application, as you can see. I have a team already with my friend Gavin Vu. So you can create a team as well, which I'm going to exactly explain how to be a verified developer as well in today's video. So technically, first of all, you won't see your bot. If you don't have a team, you won't see your bot here. Um, what I mean by that is technically uh, you have your application like here. Let's just create a new application. I'm just going to, you know, let's test. Don't worry. 
So as you can see, I have a test here. Um, you gotta make sure that everything in here should be probably fine. So let's say you have the app wireless, you can add some, you know, wireless people to your bot. And you have the OAuth stuff. Um, so be fair, never share your client ID. This is not really very, very like, you know, bad and, you know, security issue. It's just a client ID, which no one can hack probably. But the thing is, don't give it to, any, to people you don't know, because, you know, they can abuse it. And it's a very important note right now. If your bot is in the server um, from one person, like the one person is spamming in like 100 servers and 10 servers. And then, you know, there's a lot of haters like that. Uh, and the thing is, Discord is going to automatically see and, you know, I'm going to explain it. So first of all, I have, you have the client ID here. Um, you might make sure that your uh, client, you know, token or some stuff like that should be properly fine. Don't share your token to anyone if you want to be a verified developer because Discord should, may understand about that. And um, the funny thing is never, if you're using GitHub for your source code, um, never share your code to someone else. What I mean by that is technically, um, if you have a teammate or something, that will be fine. But if you have someone that you don't know and never put your bot on public, uh, what I mean by that is technically, as you can see, I have my proxy here. I never put this one as a public thing. I never put anything in here as a public. It's private. Uh, if you don't know how to can make it private or public, you just gotta click on your repository and then go to settings. And you will see some um, option here called Danger Zone. You just have to, uh, you know, do some sub settings. You can check everything in here. I don't think it's gonna be very complicated, so I'm just saying. And yeah, that's technically it. Um, second of all, if you don't know how to uh, create a team, it's pretty simple. You just click on New Key Trim. But uh, you gotta know where something important. I bet most of you guys have issues that it says you have to do. Um, factor authentication which as i know pretty sucks but you, you may see some information here it's just gonna you know turn on your to factor authentication it's gonna ask me in here as well you gotta do that if you don't do it you will not be able to create a team pretty sucks i use authy for myself for the you know um, verifying stuff so that's technically what i do and i don't recommend it to everyone but i think it's a very good application for you know using it for so and you need a phone number for sure <laughs> that's the one other thing every discord you know have so many stuff like that so don't judge me so what I mean by that is technically, um, this is one of the tips that I want to do. Um, the third thing is how to be a verified developer. Well, technically, um, you just have to, first of all, uh, never spam your bot, your own bot and your teammate, but you know, you're probably in a team and um, technically make sure you guys both have the bot on the right, like don't spam it on your own servers. So what I mean by that is technically I have two servers, proxy is in it, like one of them is Dashcraft and one of them is like, you know, my test server. Um, technically, what you gotta do, you gotta understand that is technically don't share this with anyone else. Like, let's just say um, you're having a server and uh, you, you're just having like, you know, a hundred servers that you're in and you want, you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna invite this here, you know, I'm gonna invite it here, you know, I have a lot of servers. Don't do it at all especially the server owners like you you are the ownership of the server you will have issue you never invite the bot in more than two servers if you're the teammate or you are the owner of the repository or i mean the owner of the bot don't invite more than two servers one of them is testing one of them is your own server or whatever you have well technically don't do it more than two times but other people can invite like three or four times but if they mass spam what i mean by that's like let's just say they have a server they have four servers and this in the server they have like one member or two members and their bot which is pretty bad discord needs at least five real members on each discord server that they're gonna invite and they see if the four servers are like that they're gonna probably deny you in the first second and uh, when you get verified, technically, uh, you gotta be at least in 75 servers. But for me, they message me in 76 servers. So what I mean by that is technically Discord is gonna in, you know, invite you in, uh, let's just say, um, when you re reach um, 75 servers, it's gonna be ready. But when you reach 76, nothing, you know, everything is gonna be fine. They're gonna probably message you. If they message you or you didn't message you, this means you got denied. Or sometimes it's called ignorance and stuff, you know. What does this mean is actually you made a mistake by uh, some authentication and stuff. It's gonna explain for you each time. Discord is literally gonna email you, I mean, email you and invite you. So let's just say an example. I have an example here, uh, Discord emailed me. Yeah, there we go. Discord emailed me about that, as you can see. And they call dash gabby notice a proxy was in 75 servers or more and you will be able to process your application so what i mean as you can see you're gonna see notification in your applications tab and you can uh, do a verification system which i'm my process is processing from the last week i think it's gonna take like five days for like processing discord to do that 
works for me. But mm-hmm. technically, that's what I'm saying is after you guys got that and you're trying to ver- be in a verification process, it's going to be pretty much not hard. But, um, you know, the tips that I'm giving you right now is going to help you in the future. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to talk any more anything else. Before we guys lift, leave the video, I know maybe my tips are bad, but I did my best for you all you guys. I'm giving you each tips possible. If my grammar was bad, I'm sorry because I'm not a Canadian or, uh, you know, American probably. Um, yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I hope you liked the video. Make sure to do the like, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I'm trying my best to keep you updated, guys. And you can join our Discord as well if you have any questions. And I hope I'll